Well, hey everybody, it's Paul, and welcome to my desktop. The funny thing is, just in the past few days, I've gotten quite a few um, comments and questions about how to use and how to like install Isotope Vinyl in LMMS. Now, I haven't been on LMMS forever, so I'm a little rusty on it, but I thought I would just go ahead and show you um, from the beginning now you gotta go to ice with a z isotope vinyl i already typed it in earlier and i go to the free audio plugin isotope and it's here and then you can learn more and it just tells you about it, it it's a pretty cool um so then you're just going to download now. And what they want is your email. So I've already done this. So you guys can get it. It's been so long I can't remember exactly. But they typically will um, send it to you in a zip file. And then you just unzip it. And what you're looking for is a .dll file. And what you'll do is find where your LMMS is. Okay open that then you see where plugins is you want to open that and you're going to copy your isotope vinyl dll there in your plugin folder okay once that's done then what we'll do is uh, start our lmms this is how mine looks when i start it up and let's see where is it uh, yeah so then you're going to hit here my home which is the folder with uh, I guess it's a house actually in it all right then you're going to see LMMS there hit the download arrow thingy and then hit your plugins. And you see Isotope Vinyl. You just double click and it opens it up. And um, then it's just a matter of um, whatever settings you like. Um, you know. Like, in the funny thing, you can do all of this, but if you don't turn it on, it won't do anything, okay? So, you can... <laughs> sorry about that. Um, you know, you can start like this, say, and then start adding stuff. Like, I, you know, it does all kinds of stuff. Mechanical noise. Right? electrical noise like the old kind of hum you know and I, I like the dust a lot here now that's just random right so you can add more or less obviously because like dust I'm old enough to remember dust can be laying anywhere on the, on the LP you know but now if you do scratch so like it just hits the dust once and then goes on say so this is the level of course and this is the amount here so now but and you can have all of them or some of them now scratch is going to be repetitive right that thing spins around 33 times a minute so you're going to keep hearing that right So, like, if you have one scratch, every time the record would make a revolution, you would hit that scratch. So that's pretty cool. So you'll see how all this stuff affects your music and whatnot, you know. And this is your master uh, and the whole thing. So now the, whole, the only thing is you want to turn it off or it'll drive you nuts after a while because you can keep hearing this you know the whole time um 
but you can adjust it see it where it would be in your track and um this is a cool feature here too like um the older the record the more um in depth like the the sound is So you can kind of get a rhythmic thing going. Um, hear some of this other stuff when you have um, your stuff playing but that gives you a pretty good idea of it I think it's a cool effect um, I use like uh, FL Studio and I even like it in there so I hope this answers everybody's questions um, hope you found the video useful until next time we'll see you